हेलो आई एम श्री कृष्ण कोल्हार फ्रॉम विद्या प्रतिष्ठान कमल नयन बजाज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस वीडियो कोर्स ऑन सिग्नल्स एंड सिस्टम्स इन दिस लेक्चर विल बी स्टडिंग क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सिस्टम्स एंड विल बी कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग ऑन टाइम इन वेरियंट एंड टाइम वेरियंट सिस्टम्स एंड स्टेबल एंड अनस्टेबल सिस्टम्स सो टू बिगिन विथ अ सिस्टम इज सेट टू बी टाइम इन वेरियंट इफ इट्स input output characteristics do not change with time suppose that a signal x of t is applied to a system and we are getting an output y of t now if we will delay the input by t seconds then for a time invariant system the output also will be delayed by t seconds so let us consider uh, this example where x of t it is the input signal which is applied to this system and it produces signal y of t as its output now if we will uh, delay this input by let's say capital t amount of seconds and if we will apply this input to this system and we are getting let a output y of t minus t which is again delayed output so if input is delayed the output is also delayed by same amount of time so the system is time invariant system let us uh, illustrate this with the help of uh, following example uh, y of t it is equal to t x of t so first of all we will delay this uh, input signal and find out output due to delay input so y of t comma capital t it is given by transformation of x of t minus capital t so that is equal to t x of t minus capital t now if uh, we delay the output by capital t uh, uh, number of seconds then y of t minus capital t it is equal to t minus capital t into x of t minus capital t now by definition if y of t comma capital t it is equal to y of t minus capital t then the system is said to be time invariant and as here we are getting y of t comma capital t not equal to y of t minus capital t that is now output due to delayed input is not equal to delayed output so the system is time variant now we will consider another example where y of t is given by e raised to x of t now if we will obtain uh, output due to delayed input which is nothing but y of t comma capital t it is equal to x of t minus capital t so we have uh, delayed the input and we have obtained the output now we will delay the output by capital t and we will represent it as y of t minus capital t which is equal to e raised to x of t minus capital t so we have replaced t with t minus capital t now by definition if they are equal means y of t comma capital t equal to y of t minus capital t then the system is said to be time invariant but and uh, here what we can obtain and here what we can see is y of t comma capital t it is equal to y of t minus capital t so the system is time invariant let us consider one more example where y of t it is equal to x of t multiplied by cos of 50 pi t now again we will follow the same steps we will obtain output due to delayed input so we will uh, be getting y of t comma capital t it is equal to x of t minus capital t cos of 50 pi d uh, note that we have only delayed the input by capital t amount of time now if the output is delayed by capital t now here for delaying the output we are replacing small t by t minus capital t so we are getting uh, y of t minus capital t equal to x of t minus capital t cos of 55 t minus capital t so we have replaced t with t minus capital t so here we can see that y of t comma capital t it is not equal to y of t minus capital t so the system is time variant now we will consider a discrete time system y of n uh, whose output y of n is given by x of 2n now again we will follow the same steps we will delay the input and we will try to obtain the output now we will be delaying the input by k number of samples so output is given by y of n comma k which is equal to x of 2n minus k so we have simply delayed the input by k number of samples 
now if the output is delayed by k samples then we will be replacing n by n minus k into the equation of y of n so we will get x of uh, 2 into bracket n minus k which is nothing but x of 2n minus 2k now here we can easily observe that y of n comma k and y of n minus k they are not equal so the system is time variant system now we will consider another example where uh, we will try to uh, find out whether system is linear time invariant system or not now for linear time invariant systems the coefficients of differential equations in case of continuous time systems and difference equations in case of discrete time systems uh, the co coefficients that are describing the system must be constant now let us uh, uh, and if the coefficients are function of time then the system is linear time variant system now let us take example where uh, this differential equation is given and here we can easily observe that this uh, uh, 4t dy by dt in this term this uh, this term is function of time t so because this is function of time this system it is linear time variant system because uh, it is function of time it is not a constant value let us take another example now the differential equation is given here we can see that all the coefficients are constant they are uh, independent of time so the uh, system is linear time invariant system now let's consider discrete time system which is uh, represented with the help of this difference equation now here also if the system is function of time that is uh, function of time that is n then the system will be called as time variant but here we can see that the coefficients of difference equation here are all constant values so the system is linear time invariant system whereas in this example we can easily see that the function is uh, the uh, system is or the uh, system is function of n n means the time and uh, the coefficients are not constant values they are function of time that's why this system will be called as linear time variant system now we will go for stable and unstable systems now uh, before that uh, before seeing what is stable and what is unstable system we must consider uh, first of all the bounded and unbounded signals now the signal is called bounded if it doesn't tend to infinity if t tends to infinity so here we can easily see that in these two uh, figures this is decaying exponential signal so as t tends to infinity this signal tends to zero uh, as well as in this uh, uh, decaying sinusoidal signal uh, we can see that the sinusoid is uh, decaying to zero as t tends to infinity so uh, if mod of x of t less than or equal to m less than infinity at that time means if the magnitude of uh, x signal if it is less than infinity for t uh, tending towards infinity at that time the signal is said to be bounded signal whereas uh, the unbounded signals uh, uh, can be uh, these two so here we can see that uh, the first one it is uh, increasing exponential uh, so as t tends to infinity this amplitude of this uh, signal also tends to infinity uh, as well as in in case of increasing ex, uh, sinusoidal uh, exponential signal uh, the amplitude is tending towards infinity as t tends to infinity so both these signals are examples of unbounded signals as t tends to infinity amplitude of the signal also tends to infinity now we will define stable system a system is said to be stable if the bounded input produces the bounded output so we can see here that a bounded signal is applied to this system and it produces a bounded signal so the system will be called as a stable system whereas here we are applying bounded signal to the system but it is producing unbounded signal so the system will be called as unstable system so a stable system or unstable system it is based on uh, its output whether it is bounded or unbounded the system is said to be bounded if uh, if its input uh, 
is bounded and as well as its output is bounded at that time only system will be uh, called as stable system and this this is the reference uh, i have taken from uh, signals and systems book from uh, by author p ramesh babu thank you